The online retail giant Amazon has unveiled its first ever smartphone. This foray into a new market comes as the company finds itself in something of a slump, with its share price down almost a fifth over the last 12 months. Our technology correspondent Tom Cheshire reports. Before he named it Amazon, Jeff Bezos toyed with calling his website the everything store. But compared to rivals like Facebook, Google and Apple, his store was missing just one thing. This is the Fire Phone, and it has a party trick to help it stand out from the competition. Four infrared cameras on the front track its user's gaze, allowing it to create 3D effects. But it's a button that is the most important feature. I'm going to press and hold the Firefly button and start recognizing things. Called Firefly, it lets a user scan more than 100 million real-world objects to find digital information about them, including, crucially for Amazon, where to buy them. We all know how Amazon works. Go to the online store and order something. It turns up in the physical world, either as a delivery or something you can pick up at a location like this. What it wants to do with its new phone is turn the entire physical world itself into an online store. Amazon is also using the device to push digital goods. The Fire Phone comes preloaded with Amazon Prime, which offers music and video streaming services. It's difficult to get people to swap platforms. If they're really invested in the iPhone, or they're really invested in Samsung as a brand, or they're really invested in a platform, it's quite difficult to persuade people to move away, particularly if they spent money on loads of apps on their favorite platform. But Amazon isn't hoping to make money by selling its smartphones, rather by selling the goods and services through them. In that respect, the Fire Phone is less a smartphone than it is a technologically advanced shopping trolley. Tom Cheshire, Sky News.